How's it going, my happy subscriber? It's your boy Marco, and I'm here today with a, my very first Call of Duty Ghost gameplay commentary for you. Uh, I believe I go in this game uh, 2715. I picked this gameplay because uh, this is my average game for right now, and uh, this gameplay was taken from maybe three days ago. So I've learned uh, way more to the game now. So I play it a lot better. I'm dropping like, consistently of like 30, 30, 40 bombs uh, per game. So uh, I just picked this gameplay because I thought that this would be a, you know a good uh, a good a good kicker star off to average gameplay that I usually get. So anyway, so this game has been out for a week, and um, I, I was going to plan to do a first impression video, but I just haven't gotten around to it because I've been so busy. With, uh, with my school, because I'm still in the middle of my midterms. This midterms has been going on for about a month now. So, uh, instead of doing like a first impression video, I'm going to just talk about Call of Duty and Ghosts in general. So, let's, first off, let's, talk, let's start off with the uh, campaign mode. Uh, so, if you guys haven't played the campaign mode, I thought that it was... Uh, I thought, I, I'm not finished yet, I'm still working on it, but campaign mode is really, really well done. I gotta say... Um, I was very impressed with campaign mode. I like doing campaign is different from, you know, always playing online, stuff like that. So, um, I really enjoy it so far. The only thing that will change about it is uh, they don't give you markers of where to go. There's been some levels where you have to be uh, very stealthy and you have to get to an extraction point And there's different paths you can take. I'm assuming they lead always to the same, uh, to the same loca end, end location. But it'll be nice to have a marker of where should you go, like an indicator on the map, like in previous Call of Duties. And then also, another thing that they needed to fix was um, your ammo capacity. Uh, you don't start off with a lot of ammo. Um, I find that, uh, you know, if, if I'm playing just normally, I run out of ammo uh, fairly quick, maybe like a quarter way through of the mission, I run out of ammo, so I have to find another random gun. From an uh, enemy I killed, which is not, which is fine, you know. But if it's a stealth mission, I need my suppressor on it. I ran out of ammo for it. But if I you know if I play it smart, then I can last, uh, I can last the full mission with one gun. Um, so if you guys didn't know, like the missions run anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes long, which is not that bad. Uh, there are over, uh, I think, 15 missions right now. I think I'm on 13 or something. That 13, 15. Uh, I don't know, but so I decided to upload guys walkthroughs of the game. Uh, I decided to actually do it every single day because there's so many levels that if I just do it on Mondays, uh, Wednesdays, and Fridays, it's gonna take too long and it's gonna stretch out a lot, and everyone else is gonna be having uh, having walkthroughs out. And so I decided just to upload one every day, and then um, so. I'm, so my YouTube schedule right now is kind of messed up, but uh, don't worry, us can go back to normal. We can go back to the Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for commentaries and stuff like that. Uh, okay, so let's just get into the next topic. Um, let's talk about Extinction Mode. Uh, so I played Extinction Mode. I actually recorded it for my first uh, first time playing Extinction Mode, so I'll be uploading that very soon. Uh, thoughts on that? Um, again, ammo. I think the ammo was a little too low, um, but I think you could get perks or something like that. I'm not 100% I'm not sure how I play it, so I will, uh, I will figure it out eventually when I get into it a little more. Um, but what I found what I found when I was playing uh, Extinction Mode, I would, I would buy an assault rifle, but also have my handgun, but I wanted to trade my handgun for another gun, but it wouldn't let me, so I don't know how you're supposed to uh, cope with that. I'm, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I was doing something wrong, but... Uh, but when I was playing it, I felt that it was very difficult. I ran out of ammo way too quick. I needed a sleight of hand because there's so many aliens or zombies or whatever you like to call them. I'm pretty sure they're just aliens. Uh, so, but anyways, Extinction Mode, very, very good. I like it. It's very different from Zombies um, and and the Survivor Mode from Modern Warfare 3. It's like a combination of both kind of thing. You get, you know, instead of Zombies, it's Aliens, and then every five or ten levels of whatever you get, um, like a, a big boss alien comes out or something like that. So you can start off with the standard aliens, and then these other guys come out called scorpions, and they fire acid at you or something like that. It's very, very interesting. I liked it. Uh, 
but but you definitely definitely need to play with uh, more than one player. Uh, the video I'm going to show you guys of my playing Extinction, it's just a solo. I actually go pretty far, and it's actually really funny what happens during the whole game. But, so you guys can see that later when I upload that. Now let's talk about online. Online, online is a, is a give or take uh, situation. Um, some people really hate Call of Duty now because they don't want to change. Uh, they want to keep it the same thing that's been since Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, or Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops 1. They want to have the same type of hit detection. They want to have the same type of maps, same type of guns, same type of perks. Um, and what Ghost is always doing is changing that up. Uh, I remember when they started releasing it that they want to change it up for the new systems. Um, I think that this is a really good change. I think I think this is what we need uh, because you know, Clock Killer, uh, quote unquote, um, Titanfall. You know that's supposed to be destroying COD. When it comes out, so uh, you know, I think I think this is a really good change. I think this will be needed. Uh, it's a faster game type. Uh, you know, it plays very well in, in pubs. Some of the some of the maps are pretty big, but once you know them, it doesn't seem as big as if you're looking at a overview of the map. Um, so the hit and also the hit detection is really well. They Infinity Ward knows they nail every single time, every single card. They nail the hit detection. I'm very happy with that. Uh, what else? Uh, the gameplays. I like how they incorporate neutral flags in domination. Now, when you cap it, um, like when you perform you capture it, it goes enemy, then goes yours right away. Uh, I like how it goes halfway. It's enemies, and then it goes into neutral, and then it goes into yours. I love that. Uh, it makes it really good for uh, smart playmaking, especially for playing team tactical. Uh, you know, if you're controlling A and B. And then you can just neutralize C so they don't gain any other points or something like that. So it, it's very useful for you know the competitive scene. Um, but I, I, other than that, um, I think online. I think this is the best online that I ever played. I know at the start, at the first uh, first few days of Ghosts when I was playing online, I was doing very bad because uh, I wasn't used to it. You know, I was I was expecting something else, and something else came came towards me. So. I really, really enjoy it now. I think this is the best online that I have ever played for Call of Duty in a long time, since probably Modern Warfare 2, maybe Modern Warfare 3, I don't know. Black Ops 1 was okay, and Black Ops 2 was okay, but, uh, but I think Ghost is really, really well done, well made. Um, for the people who don't like Ghost, um, all I have to say to you guys, you know, you just need to understand what they're trying to do here because you they, they can make the same thing over and over again they can they can have the exact same guns with different names you know they can have the exact same maps but with different names they can have the exact same perks with with the same names and this is going to play out the exact same way um as the as the other COD, call of duties um i think that this is perfect so i think like you know don't shut it down right away because i know there's a few people out there um, that are complaining on Twitter and uh, on YouTube, and they only played probably like you know maybe like less than a day, maybe like like two hours of it, and they're already complaining about it. Um, the game is really well done. If you are quitting this, then uh, you know take it from me. It it takes a while to get used to. It took me about a full day to get used to everything. So um, you know. Don't don't just shut it out right away. Try it. It's really fun. It's really good. Uh, so you know if you if you're if you haven't got it yet, you know don't worry about it. Just you know grab the game, play it, play it for a while, and then you'll get used to it and it'll be really fun. And if you already have the game but you're not playing it anymore, uh, go back and play it for another few hours. Try it out. It's it's really well done. The online spawns and everything. Everything's perfect. Um, we get patches every right, in, right now. We get patches basically every single week, updating and fixing stuff. So Infinity Ward is really did a turnaround on helping everyone on uh, on online wise. Okay, so that was basically the main three. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my YouTube channel. Okay, so because there's no theater mode in uh, in Call of Duty Ghosts, but they can still they can still put that in. It just needs a, a patch or update, uh, but since there's no theater mode, I'm sorry to tell you guys that my 
play breakdown videos are not going to be continued anymore unless I can figure out a way to do that. Um, I don't know how I will be able to do that, but if you guys have any suggestions, follow me, please leave in the comment section below. I love doing uh, play breakdowns. I know you guys love watching the play breakdowns. Uh, I'll still be doing, you know, coaching the objective and uh, coaching for each role and stuff like that. I will be going over the roles once I know a little more about the competitive scene of Four Ghosts, because there's not a lot of information out there right now. But, uh, you know, so that will be coming out. Um, I'm just going to start up a new series. It's going to be called, um, I don't know what I'm Exactly what it's going to be called, probably called like Ghost Tips of the Week or something like that. And then it'll be basically for pubs and competitive scene. And what I will do is I'll make a, a short video clip and I'll talk about certain tips. And it'll be basically once a week or, one, uh, or once every other week or something like that. And it'll just be, you know, just specific tips to help you guys out. So, for example, um, the Night Owl. The Night Owl gives you. Uh, like a basic uh, portable UAV that moves around, something like that. And then you know, I'll just show gameplay of it, and you guys can watch and stuff like that. I'll go over, like, and also the tips would be consist of, like, score streaks, perks, weapons, stuff like that. Different loadouts that help you guys out for public and also for competitive-wise. Anyway, so this game is uh, slowly wrapping up. With, we're almost done here. Uh, I think that's about it. So, if... Hope you guys liked the commentary. Please leave a like, comment. Let me know what I could do for the play breakdowns because I really want to continue that. I really love enjoy uh, enjoy making those videos. Let me know if you guys have any ideas what I could do for that. Uh, please subscribe if you guys already haven't. Uh, links to Facebook and Twi my Facebook and Twitter is down in the description below. And as always, have a nice day, guys. Mission failed. This won't happen again.